Hello and welcome to this video tutorial from computergargar.com and in this video we are going to look at how to ensure users type entries in uppercase form. So for this example I'd like to ensure the entry of some UK postcodes. So I need my users to enter text and numeric values. They need to be able to enter both. But the text values must be uppercase. I want to ensure that consistency and that accuracy. And the data validation tool is a very undervalued feature. That is the tool that is going to allow us to kind of force this or kind of restrict this entry, if you will. Now, the first thing you need to do is highlight the cells in question that you want to apply the validation to. But just before I go in to the data validation tool, I want to talk about the formula we will need so that you can see what I'm doing before I actually do it in the feature. Now, we are going to use a function called upper. And this function probably speaks for itself. You know, the upper function will convert text to uppercase. So I'm going to use this function to convert cell A2 to uppercase. A2 being the first cell of the range I will highlight. In addition to that though, so let me just run that at the moment and type something in here. IP32 6TG. And let me just put that G in lowercase. It gets converted to uppercase over here. In addition to that function though, I need to also use a function called exact. Now the job of this function is to check two pieces of text and if they are the same, return the value of true, otherwise return false. So this is going to give me my logical test in the validation rule. If I do an exact function to test cell A2, as one piece of text and then the other piece of text the uppercase version of A2 if I test those against each other and if they are the same that means they must have typed the entry in uppercase so let me take a copy of that formula and then I'm going to come in here and select the cells I want to apply the validation to I'm just going to select cells A2 to A6 here, but it could be any kind of column or range. And on the data tab, there is your data validation tool, a good two thirds along. In here, I'm going to choose custom for the type of data to allow. And then I'm going to enter my formula. I'm just going to paste in the formula I just typed in front of our very eyes on the spreadsheet. Ensure the entry of A2 is equal to the uppercase version of it. Ensure it's uppercase. Now when people make a mistake here, if they make a mistake, I want them to be aware of what they may have done wrong. So I'm also going to click my error alert tab at the top and type in a message here. Important error message: uh, the entry must be in uppercase. Let me type that in there. So you can type anything that may be useful at that point. And if I run this, and if I type something in uppercase, that will be fine. But if I ignore that rubbish over there, that's the formula we used. But if I type something that's not uppercase, Some typical UK postcodes here. Oh, I meant to type an I, I completely missed that. Lowercase I, press enter. There is my error. The entry must be uppercase. I can either retry it or cancel, but those cells will not accept that entry. That was against the validation criteria. So, data validation, as I said at the start of this video, very much an undervalued 
feature I think of Excel it's all about the data and Excel's got amazing tools to clean up and format data but if you've got people typing this in that's got to be right if it's not right we can't do anything with it and data validation is a tool to help with that this video was about ensuring they enter uppercase it's an example of putting a formula into a validation rule now the world is your oyster along those lines you can take it much further than this video I hope you found this video useful please check out some of our other videos on our YouTube channel and come check us out at computergaga.com